Today we're going to make a real speaker out of a styrofoam plate, some aluminum foil, some Radio Shack rare earth magnets, there's our MP3 player with headphones. That's from my uh, brother Billy. And some number 28 insulated magnet wire. Oh, also some scotch tape. First we attach the rare earth magnets to the center of the plate with a scotch tape. Next, we pull a piece of aluminum foil that will cover the plate. Now, we need to wind our voice coil. So, we'll use the number 28 wire. First, to be sure that it's pretty well insulated, we'll put a small piece of tape in the center of the little coil. And then we'll wind the number 28 wire into a coil that we tape to the foil. We'll wind the coil around a D-size flashlight battery. Try not to kink the wire as you wind it in place. As you can see, we have our number 28 enameled magnet wire from Radio Shack, wrapped around our D-sized battery, made a nice little... Sorry about that, the battery went dead. But uh, what we've done is we've taken the coil off of the battery and wrapped a little tape around it to hold it in place. And now we're going to tape this to the center of our aluminum foil. Get a piece of tape right here. it down. Next we need some connecting wire to connect it to our sound system. So, we'll just borrow Brother Billy's MP3 player. Oh, he doesn't need those earbuds. We do need this cord. We'll just trim it off right there. And we need to take the insulation off the ends and connect them to our speaker wire. But first we have to clean the speaker wire and that's what our 120 grit sandpapers for. We simply grab the wire in the sandpaper. Like so. And then scrape the insulation off with the sandpaper by squeezing the wire between the folded sandpaper. do that to both ends to clean the insulation off.
Well, we've added a few more turns to bring the resistance of the coil up to about 5 ohms, but uh, it's not very loud as you can hear. You get up close to it there. So we just need to drive it with something a bit stronger. Let's see, we'll try to find an amplifier a little more strength. Well, we've got our homemade speaker uh, hooked up to the Shoebox 1000 homemade amplifier. And this is a high-powered amplifier. We ought to be really be able to hear the sounds come out of this thing now. So we're going to power this thing up here and uh, see, see how it sounds. humming noise. Uh, that doesn't look too good. My gosh. <coughs> hmm. Well, the uh, Shoebox 1000 home build amplifier was a little bit too strong for this one, I guess. I hope the output transistors are all right. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's about enough for this experiment.